YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a very quick and easy, simple, cheap uh, Dollar Tree DIY. We're going to make a three-tiered uh, tray. You can use this pretty much wherever you want. I'll show you how I'm going to use mine for this Valentine's Day supper. Stay tuned and I will show you how to do this. Okay guys, to get started making our tiered tray, we're just gonna need a couple things. I got most of them from the dollar store. I got a larger glass plate, a smaller glass plate, a glass bowl, and two of the uh, candlesticks um, that are also just that clear glass, but you can all pick these up at the dollar store. To get started, I just have my <clears throat> my E6000 Crafters Glue <laughs> and there was my phone um, and I just have like a little uh, paper plate that I'm just going to squeeze some glue right out on. This glue will actually dry clear so I'm not too worried about that and then I also have just a one of those uh, foam brushes to kind of keep my glue off my fingers and I'm just going to lightly brush the outside edges of my uh, candlestick here. Kind of get it nice and tacky. And I should mention that I have washed and dried these plates thoroughly. The glass plates and the uh, candle holders. And I'm just going to try to find the center of my plate and press that down firmly. All right, now I'm just going to take and brush the top of my candlestick the same way I did the bottom with the glue, kind of liberally. You want enough on there to do its job, but you don't want so much that it has trouble drying. Kind of find that happy medium. <clears throat> just brush that on lightly it'll all dry clear so I'm not really worried about how it looks you won't be able to tell and then I'm going to take my medium or my smaller size plate and press try to find center and just press that down firmly on the top you kind of get the gist of it now see where it's going Take some more glue and apply that to the bottom of my second candle holder. This is going to make such a cute centerpiece uh, and also it has a function. I love centerpieces that are actually functional. I'm going to use it for my Valentine's Day dinner. And actually, you can just keep using it for any other kind of parties. I like when you're having a holiday party where there's different heights to your dishes. And so that way your guests can kind of meander along the buffet line and kind of, I mean, it's just aesthetically pleasing to the eye, I suppose. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, more glue is going to go on the very top of my last candlestick. And then I'm going to press my bowl firmly on top of that. Alright, now at this point I'm going to let it dry overnight before I do anything more to it. In fact, well it's done really, but before I use it. Um, I would not put this in the dishwasher to clean it. In fact, to clean it I would just rinse it and kind of hand wash it. You don't want to submerge it in the water for very long. Because like I said, it's just that glue holding it all together. But I will bring you back when it is completely dried and I'll show you how I'm going to plan on using that. Okay guys, as you can see my tiered uh, tray is all done drying. I think it's pretty cute. I've got some finger smudges I have to get off of here. 
Um, I'm trying to see if I can. It's pretty sturdy, it's pretty solid. That glue holds up really, really well. Um, and that is it. Now I'm just gonna kind of fast forward and show you how I plan on using this. That is it for my three-tiered dessert tray. Um, it's really not that complicated. It's five dollars of material plus the glue and then obviously whatever uh, you want to use in your tiered tray. Um, I plan on using it for Valentine's Day um, just to house the chocolate and strawberries. But I feel like that it would also be nice to use as like dips with veggies or fruit dip in the top with veggies in the bottom or some kind of cheese dip with crackers or pretzels. I mean, really, it's kind of versatile and you can use it for whatever you like. Um, if you like today's video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like what I do here, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. And I will see you in the next one, guys.